resumes for the woman accused of murdering her husband and then burying him in the backyard in Lake County. Welcome back to the Crime Chronicles. Today, we're diving into a case filled with mystery, deception, and a long fight for justice. It's the story of Lori Shaver, a Florida woman at the center of a shocking investigation that left her husband, Michael Shaver, missing for years until the truth was uncovered beneath the surface quite literally. What happened behind closed doors? How did Michael disappear without a trace? And why did it take so long to find out the truth? Join us as we unravel the twists and turns of the Lori Shaver case, where love, betrayal, and tragedy collide. This is a case you won't forget. Let's get started. The case of Lori Shaver is a gripping and tragic story that has captured national attention due to its complexity, mystery, and the shocking twists that have emerged over the years. Lori Shaver, a Florida woman, was accused of the murder of her husband, Michael Shaver, who mysteriously disappeared in 2015. The case remained unsolved for several years before investigators unearthed new evidence that led to Lori's arrest in 2020. The Shaver case provides a detailed exploration into domestic violence, deception, and the law enforcement's pursuit of justice. Michael Shaver was a beloved father, husband, and hardworking man. He worked as a Disney World mechanic, while Lori Shaver was a stay-at-home mom who had developed a troubled relationship with her husband. According to friends and family, the couple's marriage had its share of difficulties ranging from financial strain to escalating arguments and alleged infidelity. Over time, their relationship grew increasingly toxic. In 2015, Michael suddenly vanished, leaving behind his two children, his job, and his friends. However, it wasn't until 2018, three years later, that anyone outside of Lori's immediate circle of friends and family realized that something was amiss. Lori Shaver had given varying accounts of Michael's whereabouts, suggesting at times that he had left the state or traveled for work. In hindsight, these explanations appeared suspicious, especially as no one could contact him, and there was no confirmed trace of his whereabouts after 2015. In 2018, friends of Michael Shaver, concerned about his prolonged disappearance, contacted the police. The Lake County Sheriff's Office then launched an investigation into his whereabouts. Upon visiting Lori Shaver's home in Claremont, Florida, investigators noted her evasive behavior when asked about her husband's location. She was unable to provide a consistent explanation, and her demeanor raised red flags. Detectives soon obtained a warrant to search the couple's property. What they found was nothing short of shocking. After a thorough investigation, detectives discovered human remains buried beneath a concrete slab in the backyard of the Shaver home. The remains were later identified as those of Michael Shaver. The discovery of the body brought closure to his friends and family, but it also set off a new chapter in the case, finding out what had happened to him. Lori Shaver's explanation for the discovery was that she was unaware of how her husband's body ended up in the yard. Her attempt to distance herself from the crime raised further suspicions, and her inconsistent answers cast doubt on her innocence. However, there was no immediate arrest following the discovery of the body, and it would take another two years before Lori Shaver was formally charged. Law enforcement faced challenges in the initial investigation, with Lori Shaver refusing to cooperate and frequently changing her story. Investigators had to work diligently to piece together what had happened to Michael and why it had taken so long for anyone to report him missing. A significant focus of the investigation was the couple's troubled relationship. Reports from neighbors, friends, and family indicated that Michael and Lori Shaver's marriage had been on the rocks for some time before his disappearance. There were allegations of domestic abuse, with Michael reportedly expressing concern for his safety in the months leading up to his death. He had allegedly confided in a friend about the volatile state of his marriage, raising the possibility that his death may have been the result of an act of violence within the home. 
In addition to domestic violence allegations, financial issues played a role in the couple's strained relationship. Michael was the primary breadwinner, and the couple had significant debt. Lori reportedly lived beyond their means, which only added to the stress in their marriage. Financial records and phone logs were thoroughly examined by detectives as they worked to build a case against Lori Shaver. Lori Shaver's legal team has worked to dismantle the prosecution's case, arguing that the evidence against her is purely circumstantial and lacks direct proof of her involvement in Michael's death. Her defense has tried to shift the narrative away from Lori's culpability, suggesting that others may have been involved or that Michael's death was an accident that Lori feared would implicate her. The prosecution, on the other hand, has focused on painting a picture of a premeditated murder. They argue that the combination of the couple's troubled relationship, the financial strain, and Lori's behavior after Michael's death point to her being the perpetrator. The case has also raised awareness about domestic violence and the dangers that can arise in toxic relationships. Michael Shaver's family has been vocal in their support for his memory, pushing for answers and accountability. They have also spoken out about the pain of losing a loved one in such a tragic and violent way and the emotional toll it has taken on them over the years. As the legal proceedings continue, the case of Lori Shaver remains a sobering reminder of the complexities of human relationships and the lengths some people will go to in order to cover up their crimes. It highlights the challenges law enforcement faces in solving cases that span years and the importance of bringing closure to families who have lost loved ones to violence. Jurors found Lori Lee Shaver, 41, guilty of second-degree murder with a firearm for killing her husband, Michael Douglas Shaver. And that brings us to the end of today's story, an unsettling reminder of how complex and tragic the pursuit of truth can be. What do you think about the Lori Shaver case? Was justice served? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who enjoy true crime stories. And, of course, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. We have more intriguing cases and mysteries coming your way.